Okay, here we go. Mike, how are you? Uh, this is Dave from Vision Studios. Obviously, just giving you uh, the start here of this um, tutorial video on the on the way I mixed um, the song for you, Sword. So let's move on to the snare. So that was the kick drum sound that we had. So uh, the snare, let's see what we did here. So we'll solo that. Again, we have the, the virtual tape machine, the console like we talked about. And let's play the snare back a little bit. Okay, so what I did on the snare is the first thing I did is I put an EQ in. I'm using just a Universal Audio EQ, the Cambridge. And on snare drums, I always roll off the low ends. Uh, this one's rolled off at right around uh, 94 hertz. 100 hertz and lower, you really don't need in a snare drum. It gets in the way of the bass and gets in the way of the kick drum, so I always roll those off. Um, on your snare drum, and on most snare drums, I'll do a little bit of a boost at right around 140, 150 hertz just to bring the body of the snare in. Hear that boxiness right there? That kind of sounds like you're playing in a, in a tin can. Right around 350 hertz. Hear that nasty sound? Get rid of it. So I, I try to find the frequencies that are offending sounding. Right there, 340. And then I, um, right now I, I boosted it, and now I just take some out. I usually take out between three and six dB. And then I widen the cue again to give it a more gentle, kind of a slope. Okay, so on the master bus, as we spoke earlier in the video, there's a, there's a set of plugins that I typically use on most mixes. Um, and I always, on all the mixes, I always use, again, the virtual console. And then I also use, um, in that, again, the, it, this is the mix bus part of the plugin, the master bus part of the plugin, then you saw all the individual virtual console collections on all the other tracks. And by turning this on and off, it's not only going to turn off on the master bus, but they're all grouped together. So it turns everything off across the whole session. So you can really see what, listen to what happens when I pull away the old school Neve, we're using the Neve console, uh, what that does when you pull them off all the tracks at once. You can really get a feel for how this thing really colors the sound and gives it a nice warmth. Okay, um, so what we're going to do that, and then we'll do the same thing with the pull tech. Remember the EQ. I'm just using it as a tone colorer. I'm not using any, not boosting anything or cutting anything on this mix. I'm just running the signal through it to kind of clean, to kind of bring out some of the mid range of the tone. Uh, that's what this EQ is known for. When you pass signal through it, it instantly kind of lifts things up a little bit and tightens things up a little bit without even doing any EQ, just by running the signal through this old emulated hardware.